Our Taxi is an anime of the season contender, and from the first episode of the show, there's so many things going on with Odokawa's like mishap with kidnapping and what so have you. What I describe the show as is almost like a Tarantino flick, you know, with just so many things going on uh, with the show that you sort of like is lost trying to keep up things. But the thing with this show is that I'm very, very impressed that they could establish so many characters in such a short period of time. I mean, at the time of the recording, it's nine episodes, and I feel like I've already known every single character. If you talk about like everyone, I mean like legit everybody in the whole cast, maybe besides the hostess, everyone in the show has a set of goals that they want to achieve. And something that I really, really appreciate is that no one's really a main villain and a main hero here. You could make an assumption that Dobu is the main villain of the whole show, considering that he's the thug, you know, with the gun and has Yakuza thighs. Ooh, scary. He's not a bad person. As we could see, like, in episode 9, the guy's, like, you know, genuinely talking to this fucking kid who's been harassing him online. Just like, hey, kid. You might want to stop this. I'm not a good guy here, but, you know, some worse guy might actually fucking kill you for this, you know what I mean? But if you take Orokawa, you know, your main protagonist, the guy who you cheer for, from like the episode one, you know that this guy is kidnapping a girl, you know? Though, it's not like he was, he's chaining her down in her apartment. It's just sort of like, that's still a plot situation that isn't resolved yet. There's just more side stories for example the whole story of the homo sapiens uh radio channel right they're in the tournament on just trying to be the best talk show of japan or what have you kensuke is trying to make a living as a waiter in a hostess bar while his partner is just living life you know dating a fucking idol and you know getting all these uh comedy gigs and what have you and he's not that talented and even kensuke knows about that it's just such a awesome plot and what i really appreciate about anime is that for nine episodes you get a plot progression that is worth three four five seven seasons of i don't know game of thrones it's insane the amount of time that anime gets you know just 12 episodes which is equivalent to what six hours and you could finish a whole story it's just truly truly wonderful and sometimes even rare nowadays because most of the time anime is just expand to like two seasons or maybe even three seasons in Attack on Titan sense, like four seasons. Yeah, and even then that has like part one, part twos. And something about the soundtrack, the opening for one, right? Before we talk about anything riveting about soundtrack, the opening is great, isn't it? Sometimes they would have a short version of the opening just because there's so many things to cover in the whole like anime. The opening is honestly one of the best openings this season, at least, you know what I mean? And the soundtrack, oh my God, fucking great. I mean, when you think of anime soundtracks, you think of like, you know, the the chaos, you know, they have the cute little girl feel, or maybe like the action, like just drums. Our Taxi has a very just grounded soundtrack, so most feel like you're going through a lo-fi stream. It's so chill. Of course, when like people are getting chased or people are getting murdered or what have you, of course the soundtrack goes up a notch, but it's just, most of the time it's just very chill and just very, I don't know, it's just very calming and there's, Sometimes when there's comedy scenes, the soundtrack that they use there is just good. It's just honestly good and it isn't annoying. It just fits the, the tone of the show so well. The animation, oh my god. It's honestly groundbreaking in a sense because the last time we have animal animes, right? The Beastars, it's made in CGI and I'm not saying that that CGI is garbage, but there's a difference between animation, like hand-drawn animation and CGI. I can tell you right now, I love hand-drawn animation. The reason why I love anime so much is hand-drawn animation. The reason why I'm not a Disney fan who goes to fucking Disney World every fucking two weeks because he can't get enough of Mickey Mouse's dick is because I love hand-drawn animation. And the way that they draw this show, sometimes they, it almost looks like a fucking crayon. It just looks so beautiful insinuates the nightlife of Tokyo and just how it is for a taxi driver. If you've ever been just driving around a big city late at night, any city, just not even in Tokyo, maybe like London, maybe like New York, maybe LA or whatever city you live in, it truly encapsulates the vibe of it. At the beginning of this video, I said that this show is a contender of anime of the season. I say that without saying that it is because there is another anime that I am keeping a really, really close eye on because I truly think that this other anime 
can't jump over Autaxi and be the anime of the season. But that's a video for another time.